needs work in the body to do about four things, four main things in the body, okay? First is they can slow down a body process. Slow down a body process. The second one is they can speed up a body process. Third, they can destroy or alter a process. Fourth, they can replace or supplement. So, let's talk about these and see if we can think of some examples. A medication that might slow down a body process. Let's start with um, digestion. <laughs> what a great place to start. So, can you think of a drug that might slow down a body system such as digestion? Hmm. If you've ever had diarrhea, you've probably taken this drug. Imodium? Doesn't it slow down digestion? Slows down that peristalsis of going through the intestine? Yeah. So this would be an example of a slow down drug. Got it? Now let's talk about a different body process. How about neuro? Can you think of a drug that might slow down neuro? How about a sleep med? Wouldn't a sleep med count? I think it would. It slows down those brain waves, slows everything down so you can go to sleep. So that's one. Now let's talk about speed up. Can you think of a med that might speed up a body process? Staying on the same topic, let's start with digestion. Can you think of a med that might speed up digestion? What's the opposite of diarrhea? Constipation. Okay, so what would be a med that might speed up a body, or speed up a body system for digestion? Can you think of that? A laxative? A stimulant laxative, like Dulcolox. Yes, that's exactly right. Would speed it up. Now let's think about neuro. Can you think of a drug that might speed up You probably already had it this morning. Some people take this drug in all day. Caffeine. I'm talking coffee. Coca-Cola. Right? Caffeine. Yeah, that would be a good one. Or perhaps even a diet pill. Or perhaps um, Adderall. Yeah. All of these would be examples of speed up. Third one, destroy or alter. This might be a little bit more tricky for you. These would be drugs that would have the effect of destroying something for a body system or altering a body system so that it works differently. So, destroy or alter. Can you think of something? How about chemotherapy? Wouldn't that work? I think that would be okay. I think we could put that here. How about antibiotics? That would work, wouldn't it? Now, or alter. You know, drugs that alter the way a body system works, alter something in the body. When I think of this, one of the things that just jumps out at me, and, and it's kind of funny because, um, birth control, like the pill, it's altering the body system. It, it gives the amount of hormones and the balance so that the body thinks it's already pregnant so it does not release an egg. You see? So it's altering that body system. Now if you give it just a little bit of estrogen and progesterone in a real tiny amount, now you're replacing and supplementing. If somebody had a hysterectomy with their ovaries taken out at too young of an age, then a small amount would be replaced and supplement. 
but giving it in the amount where it becomes birth control, now you're altering your body system. Isn't that interesting? So the last one, replace and supplement. So to replace, when I think of this, I automatically go to insulin. Insulin is a hormone. It's produced in the pancreas, in the islets of Langerhans, in the beta cells. Now, if you have type 1 diabetes, something happened. Either it's autoimmune or there was a virus and all your beta cells died. And so now your body is not producing any insulin and you can't live without that. And so it taking insulin, which is injected only, so right now, so taking insulin replaces that needed insulin. Supplement, do you take vitamin D, vitamin C? That, those are supplements, we're supplementing. So replace or supplement. And there's several examples of each of these. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of drugs that we could easily put under each one. And in fact, probably when you come in to do your skills, we'll have you do that. Give you a big tub of drugs and have you put them in the four categories. So much fun. And some can go in more than one category, even depending on the dose and the application of what is needed. How interesting is that? <laughs>